Mane, and today we are going to be learning the triple pick technique. And I am running out of storage, so we are going to do this really quickly. So basically, you can handle this technique in two different ways. You can either use a pick, which I normally do, and this is a Herco Extra Heavy Pick. I like these kind that wrap around your thumb because it's really easy for me to strum and then go back into picking and then strumming. Uh, but you can also use a regular pick, the kind that you just hold like that. Or the second way you could approach this is with your fingernails. And as you can see, the left hand is super short with the cords and then the right hand is acrylic nails. And the reason why I have acrylic nails is because I like to play flamenco Spanish music and it definitely helps with my strumming. Just like that, but it really depends on what style you're playing. But for this technique, I would highly suggest getting a, a pointer acrylic nail. And if you're wondering if you could use a real nail, um, it will probably be filed down by the end of this, this video. Uh, it's happened at all my workshops, I'm really sorry. Um, so I would suggest getting at least a pointer acrylic nail. So let's start with the pick technique. And you wanna grab your, your pick and then you wanna take your, what is this, your ring finger and you wanna just slap it on the ukulele just right here. And the reason why I do this is because it kind of provides an anchor for my hand and it gives me more control. But if it's easier for you to go without the anchor, that's totally cool too. But I'm gonna use this, my ring finger as an anchor and we are just gonna lightly brush the top of the A string, top, bottom. Just like that. And as you can see, all of the work is being done in my elbow and the wrist is staying pretty frozen. It's not moving, and neither is the shoulder. The shoulder kind of just chills out. And it's all in the elbow, just like that. And then the, as you can see, the anchor is just staying there, making sure that you don't get too crazy. Now, if you're getting stuck in the, um, the what is it, the strings, it's probably because you're going a little too hard, and it kind of gets stuck like that. And this might also help as well. So as you can see, my my pick is going uh, perpendicular right now. And you want to take your thumb and you want to angle it diagonally and kind of go more at an angle. And this will help with the, the smoothness of your picking. So as you can see, this is perpendicular, which works. But it's easier if you just angle that thumb just a little bit diagonally, and it gives it a smooth sound. All right, so let's do the A string together. You just wanna lightly brush. And then from there, you wanna do the rest of the strings. And once you're comfortable doing all the strings, then you wanna add an accent. So, one. When that feels good, then you can add in another another accent. So and then you can add another accent. So you could do that. And the reason why I do accents is because it really helps um, bring your melody out. You can choose where you want to accent certain notes. Uh, but let's go to the fingernail way. So you want to pretend like you're holding a, an, an imaginary pick. And then you want to anchor again with your, your ring finger. And your pointer is basically going to be your pick for this. So you want to lightly brush. And you don't want to go perpendicular because that's going to get stuck. You kind of want to go, you also don't want to go to the side because that is hard as well. You kind of want to just find that right feeling, feeling. So you don't want to go like that. You don't want to go like that. You want to just lightly brush in a diagonal manner using your pointer as your pick. Just like that. So 
So that is the triple pick technique. I usually um, use the pick, but if I lose it or if I misplace it, then it's really easy to use my finger as a pick as well. So it's up to you. I hope that was helpful. Um, if you want to learn something else, let me know in the comments. And uh, please like and subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!